Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video has been highly requested from some of you and I'm going to talk about exceptionally beautiful drugstore product. These are the little bourgeois blushers. I think a lot of you already know about these blushers. If you don't today I'm going to talk about these cute little blushers and I'm going to show you part of my collection because I usually buy a lot of these sweet little blushers because I love them. I think a lot of you may know that these little bourgeois blushers are very close to Chanel blushers in terms of quality. We all love Chanel blushers or at least anyone who has ever tried a Chanel blusher loves it. This is Jus Contrast and it's my favorite shade. This is number 82 Reflex and in most of my videos I'm using this blusher. Both Chanel and Bourjois blushers are baked technology and they blend beautifully, they create that incredibly sophisticated glow on the cheeks and once you apply a Bourjois blusher or Chanel blusher you can't really tell the difference which one is which. As you can see the packaging of Bourjois blushers is quite simple but they are only a fraction of the price of a Chanel blusher and they are very comfortable to put it in your handbag and to reapply it during the day or if you're traveling I always take these blushers even though I have quite a few Chanel blushers because I love them too. Um, I always take a bourgeois blusher with me because they are very comfortable. If you are traveling somewhere this is the most convenient blusher that you can have and also they have a very beautiful highlighter and I have a full video dedicated to their highlighter. But yeah as I said the packaging is quite simple. They come in this little pot and inside you have the product. There is a mirror which is quite convenient and useful if you want to use it on the go and there is also a little brush that comes inside. Now I usually don't use this little brush, actually I never use this little brush when I'm at home but if I'm on the go, if I'm traveling, actually this brush um, does a pretty good job. These little blushers look absolutely beautiful and in case you are on a budget or in case you want to save some money definitely go for a bourgeois blusher because the effect that you're going to get on your cheek is exactly the same as a Chanel blusher. The only difference is that Chanel blusher is going to last a bit longer than a bourgeois blusher but it's so small and convenient that you can always have it in your handbag and you know everyone is different. On me Chanel blushers are a lot more long lasting. This one lasts me probably approximately four to five hours whereas the Chanel blusher lasts me 10 hours. So that's about my skin but your skin may be different. For some of you a downside might be the fragrance of this little blushers. It has a beautiful scent but it's quite overwhelming. It has a powdery scent of rose which I love. It's a signature scent for bourgeois. Even after applying the blusher on your cheeks you can feel the scent for a couple of hours probably. I can definitely feel the scent on my cheeks for a couple of hours but I'm not sensitive to fragrances. I have sensitive skin and this works beautifully on my skin. My skin is very sensitive. I have combination super sensitive skin and this works beautifully for my skin. But if you're sensitive to fragrances this might be a deal breaker for you because the scent is quite strong and you can really feel it a couple of hours after applying the blusher. So I've been purchasing these little blushers and I've been using them for years. I usually tend to lose them from time to time because I like to take them with me when I'm traveling and they are so cute and small that I tend to lose them um, a lot of times. But the good thing is that they are quite cheap and bourgeois usually have constantly have some discounts. I'm really sorry that Bourjois is not available in the US. I hope that they are going to be available soon because Bourjois is my favorite drugstore brand and I love a lot of their products so I hope that they are going to be available in the US soon but I promise that in some of my next videos I'm going to show you also high quality drugstore products that are going to be available in the US as well. So this is how this little blusher looks on my cheeks. As you can see this is a neutral shade blusher and these neutral shade blushers have become quite trendy recently. I 
see that a lot of brands started to do that a lot of the high-end brands started to do this kind of neutral shade blushers and they look very beautiful if you have pale skin tone you can use them instead of a bronzer i personally like to use them high on my cheekbones and they are somewhere in the middle between a bronzer a contour a blusher and because it has luminous finish and most of bourgeois blushers have luminous finish i usually don't use highlighter when I'm using bourgeois blushers and also Chanel blushers because it gives light and luminosity to the face and and I naturally have glowy face because I have combination skin and it usually gets glowy on its own so I don't need a lot of additional glow. And finally I wanted to show you this. I had a couple of these two-in-one products but now I can find only this one and this is a blusher and a bronzer. This one is really convenient because it's so small and you have a blusher and a bronzer. The only way to use the blusher and the bronzer separately however is to use the little brush that comes inside because it's very small and precise and you can really get the blusher and the bronzer separately. Otherwise if you're using a bigger brush you just have to swirl together the two colors. But I like to use this one as a blusher and a bronzer because both colors are beautiful. I'm going to swatch them now for you. So this is the blusher and this is the bronzer. Okay, so let's have a look at all shades together and I think these are very, very cute. I really love these shades, all of them. They are so cute and so convenient and really the price is quite impressive. So that's all I had for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, give me thumbs up and leave me a comment. I love chatting with you. Bye!